Hi viewers, this is Nikara. Um, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, where your soul grow and your home glows. Yes, your home glows. I will be sharing with you some ideas and little tips on how to organize your kids' clothes closet. Yes, I said it, your kids' clothes closet okay uh this is a wonderful day again that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it he is a wonderful god to us there are times i just want to encourage you that you know there may be times when we're very busy with ups and downs with the cares of life sometimes we forget to pray sometimes we don't even read the word but i want to encourage you the fact that you're alive and myself today god has given us the opportunity to come back to him again start reading his word again start praying today again all right let not your spirit hold you down let not fear hold you back let not uh, uh, lacking confident in God hold you back the fact that you're alive my friend no matter even if you're Christian or not Christian today is the opportunity today is the day where we can get up and said you know what let me give God half an hour let me give God one hour let me give God five hours today let me give God six hours today this is the day when we can get up again and start reading God's word again this is the day when we can say you know what I'm gonna give God my time this is the day when you said you know what I need to find a holy church this is the day when you could say you know what I'm gonna make change in my home all right it's never too late as long as there is breath in this body we can do it again let's make heaven together all right without further ado let me take you over and show you some wonderful ways on how to organize your cupboard and make your home beautiful peaceful and happy it's high time this place get organized yes i have tidied it i have always been folding clothes and um, packing stuff taking away clothes that you know she's currently not wearing i have been doing a lot of that these wonderful baskets um that i will be inserting inside here these areas okay um you can get these from Ikea. All right, just a normal file of wrapping paper and I have cut to, to the size to fit into the bottom of the basket. All right, so I have actually laid all the lining at the bottom of the basket. And um, so that's how it looks. And I'll be just folding in the clothes now. I've also got some beautiful basket that I got from Tesco. And, and they were quite, they were under some offer. Quite reasonable. So shelf area with these lovely baskets and what I want to do is to have them available to put space at the back this awesome a lot of space at the back Alright, so this guys is just some simple tips um, how to start organizing your closet on a budget. Right, okay guys, I'm just gonna demonstrate quickly 
um, how to make a quick divider um, to put in your clothes closet all right so I'm gonna be just using these um, pound land um, glue which is called uh, super glue um, from pound land I mean any glue you can use all right guys right so I'm sure you can find this in your house anywhere or on a box or something so this is a simple cardboard and I'm just using this um, then the same wrapping paper that I have used at the bottom of my basket I have taken a piece of that and I'm just gonna wrap it around the cardboard And I just want to give it another fold. Be careful with the glue because it will stick to your fingers. So, so far, I've achieved the closure um, at the edges area. So, I have put in the section, the divider for this area, all right? So, it's now time to show you the complete look of how I've organized this closed closet. Starting from the top. I have put in place this lovely beautiful basket yes they are nice and smooth and very soft um, they are plastic but I absolutely love them down below I've got another beautiful basket again so this one is pink and I've just put all her uniforms in there um, the water ones that are washed so the washed uniforms goes in there on the other side um, this is the items that I've folded um, as neat as you can guys I did not iron them I could have but um, just a little bit time-consuming for me um, so yes and the divider which I have made I've shown you how I've made that it's below she's got this lovely basket you can get them from IKEA guys but this was built in with this um, these basket I didn't have to go and buy any all right, and I've just stick this little beautiful dangly stuff that girls loved. All right, and her clothes are neatly organized, as you can see with the different color tones. All the greens together, all the sort of yellow together, and I've put the black and white together over there, and I've got some whites over on the other side. In this basket, I tend to put all the blues, mostly her jeans um, so you can put all your jeans together or the blues together or light blues um, together okay um, and just below um, she had just received these from her godparent so beautiful just below again I've organized all the colors together so she's got all the pinks and the peaches together and on the other side she's got a red and burgundy together okay coming down guys I have used see these beautiful um, little containers here yes I'm gonna share it to you right so I have been using, can you see this again guys? Do you see inside of it? What does it look like to you? Yes, this is like a flower pot guys for garden. And I saw it in Poundland and I said, wow, I can surely use this, make use of it otherwise than planting 
plants inside there and I'm thinking and I'm thinking I said yes I'm gonna buy it and some idea I must come up with some idea what to do with it and yeah again so say so done I have made a great use of these plastic basket they were only a pound so what I have decided to do was to organize all her socks in here and it's quite long can you see that it's nice and long so it can it can really hold a lot of items inside there um, there you go so that's that inside here she's got her tights so she's got the all her school tights and the other normal tights for church inside there and just the casual occasions are there just below she has just like the mixed color the multicolor fabrics organize all her bags so she's got a little rucksack she's got some little handbags okay so that's that just opposite on the other side as well she's got another section here and i've put all her casual wear on this side okay so this is a quick overview of what it completely looks like so as I have finished I'm gonna go in with my blue diamond okay I've showed you in my previous videos it's an up to nail balls and uh, we know it to be called um, camphor balls um, so this guy this is not mothball right it looks like it but it does not smells like mothball mothball does not seem to have any smell to it all right you can get this um, on your high street wherever you live I'm sure you can find them okay beautiful fresh smell again for stopping by thank you for watching please do remember to subscribe and leave your comment and do leave a thumbs up all right thank you so 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 much i hope you have enjoyed and i hope you will be taking away some tips on how to organize your kids clothes closet thank you god bless you shalom